Hello and welcome to the Star Trek Armada 2 Fleet Ops audio commentary. My name is Zap and with me today are Beki and Nukov. Say hello. 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 Yeah. Beki, will you introduce the top player, please? Up top, we have Mighty Master, going by the name New Big Nub, as Teal, and he is playing Klingons. On the bottom side, we have Old Time Pro as the Purple Borg. So. I have seen a lot of Klingon versus Borg matches in the past, especially with Old Time Pro. There were a lot of matches with him in the tournament of 2K12, I believe, in which he was playing against Borg, especially in the finals. Those were some really awesome matches, and I wonder if we're gonna see something like that again today. A COTP is not wasting any time on building his conduction matrix right on top of the assimilation matrix. So we will see if that gives him a slight time advantage there. He's also going for die first, which is uh, kind of unusual with Borg, but if he's aggressive, that might pay off for him. Yeah, knowing OTP, he likes to play aggressive, and he always told me he builds a conduction matrix <clears throat> immediately to save as much time, so... It's a valid strategy, and after all. Yeah, but he it does might, get out might be quick. exposed. Also, if I just may quickly comment, watch his constructor, he will probably move to the middle of the map to try and build chips in the middle as well to try and save time. One of his funny little strategies usually pays off. Well, we got a little bit of scout chasing going on here. Looked like OTP was going to try to lure him in a nebula to get his shields down, but it didn't happen. It looks like uh, Mighty Master Ooh. is going to go for Seuss's, because he's building a special force in this field yard right now. Indeed. I've seen him often play with that strategy, but it's not very flexible. We'll see if that works out for him. He's not getting the special right away too, probably to save his Tritanium. Energy nodes going up for OTP. And it doesn't look like we're going to see another yard like KBQ's to tank for the Susas. But he has started production alright. Yep. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Probably scouting his base, loading in all the bog text just takes a little bit of time. Looks he's expanding to his closer expansion. There are two expansions on this map for each player. One has the moons a little bit closer to each other. One is here for Mighty Master and one is on the other side for OTP. And there's also another expansion which has its moons not as close together. And it's a little bit further away from the expansion, so this is usually the natural expansion that a player will take. Oh. The Klingon Constructor is the only ship which has a weapon on itself. It doesn't do much damage, but it's really great for chasing away these scouts. Especially the Borg scouts, which generate very slowly the health. Can be chased away just by a couple shots with that. But then Borg scouts are generally very easy to get, out, get rid of, because they have no shields and they can just be beamed on, and 80 crew is not that much. Yes, but uh, as Nukov said earlier, uh, He's moving, all time is moving his constructor up, just like you said. Yeah, but uh, <coughs> Mighty Master is actually keeping an eye on that with his scout. In the tournament, the final match where all time played against Boggs, this is a big mistake Boggs made. He had no idea he was building ships in the middle, so attacks were literally seconds away from his base or his expansion. So, and this is another thing that I noticed with old time, he will try to dictate the moves of his opponent. When he played against Boggs, who was also Klingon on this very same matchup, um, he always kept <laughs> he always kept Boggs' ships where he wanted them to be, by attacking in certain areas, splitting his fleet. Old time's very good at playing against Klingon, but um, I do look forward to seeing what will happen. Neat. 
He's put up a second field yard yeah, to make more sus ass. He's going really for the spam of these. Understandably, because in low numbers they won't do the damage. Being all torpedo ships, they will do a lot of damage against the late game ships or large ships like spheres, but against these early ships they're actually not that good. I think scout cubes and probes will still be faster than sus ass too, by the way. Yeah, all yeah, time they for the definitely are. aggression. Yeah, he's going to try to deny this mining station, but it looks like it will get up. Even if the shields go down, Klingon ships have 50% hit of the hit points on shields, 50% and a half. Oh, if he's not yeah. careful, he might actually get that Ten one. Seconds. It's gonna be close. But that cube is taking a bunch of damage there. And they will not regenerate very fast, so that's a trade-off he's making. I think he'll, he'll get yeah, the station, but he'll lose the constructor, so... Yeah... Well, he might, he might get it away. Nah, he might get it in... But nah, he's blocking it with the block. ships, so... Yeah. yeah, that's helping him, of course. And, and it goes! It. An early victory. He still has his other constructor, but... We'll see if he will, he will send it down I'm there. Oh, Master no! I'm thinking might not be paying attention, because he's just about to lose that ship. Oh, oh yeah. that was you, very close. You, oh, that was close. Still, one of OTP's cubes is under 50% health. Looks like yeah, he I'll would just go right up there. He's wasting no time going immediately to attack yeah. the mining in his base while he... Mighty Master ships are just sitting there. Oh, no, nope, they're moving now. Yep, he's wisely retreating his miners already. Yeah. Leaving OTP with nothing but an empty mining station to attack. On the other side, OTP has created another scout. So he can scout the map more efficiently. Yeah, all time just like scouts. He understands as a oh. very vital part of strategy to always have intelligence, know what your enemy's doing. He it looks like Mighty Master engaged cube. OTP on his own there, trying to get that scout cube kill. He doesn't have an EM cube, so he couldn't have seen him manually. Or detected him manually then. Well, he's getting out his ships though. Still, he is doing that damage that can't be regenerated yeah, very just easily. Barely. He's probably gonna send that Scooby to go hide in the uh, nebula. Yeah, like. he likes to do that too. Or he will just Actually, try and harass his Titanium over there. Yes. Yes, he might try to draw yeah. away some ships to the damaged skew. Ah, another great thing about the Special Forces extension is that you can repair two ships at once. The other Klingon Yard extensions can't do that. But because this one can also research the alloy repair, you can we, s we can repair both in this one and in the center section. Yes, the damaged cube is attacking his base titanium. May even get a kill. Getting in. Also, it's noteworthy that Mighty Master is intentionally attacking the cubes because because they are medium sized and will take 80% of the torpedo hits. While the probes, while they will be uh, automatically targeted because they have lower defense, they are small size and will only take 60% of the torpedoes. Oh, that miner there has been caught out of position though. And all time also took one of the miners in the base. Did he? Oh, he did not pay attention there. He's sending one back now. That miner is going down. It seems he still does not have the DPS to kill one of his Susas, and though. But Which he does have might a be no, not a really good microphone, I know. Where the EM cube is here, so that might just tip the battle. In the also, while Mighty Master is distracted, uh, he wiped out uh, the all-time probe wiped out the Tritanium mining at his base. He was forced to pop his oh, yes. last miner into a container. And that will hurt him, he's pretty low on resources right now. All time oh. attacked the station with his EM cube. Nah, a bit too late now, he probably could have seen them, but... Uh, attacking the station with your EM cube to see ships is also one that one wouldn't think of ASAP. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very, very smart tactic. 
the way the EMS cubes work is that every time you shoot, it will also uh, try to detect an enemy. But it doesn't look like it's necessary since my team master will just engage him. Yeah. It will of course Trying still to save him. Focus ships. down the, uh, the EMS cube, but Mighty Master seems to be losing the engagement. Indeed. There goes one, sir. He's gotta watch that probe, though. I think he'll lose the probe unless he micros, really. Oh no! Like it's gonna get yeah, away. Mighty Master didn't didn't attack it full on. Yep. Not wasting a single ship there. Also, it looks like old time is about to expand. He queued up a couple of miners. Another oh, yes. thing interesting to note about old time, he expands in two directions at once. So then, if the enemy comes to raid one expansion, he can't take everything he has. He has the other expansion is back off. And that is usually a very wise strategy as well. Although, if he attacks, you will usually lose one of your investments. That is true, but it's better than losing both your investments. Mm, that is true. Depending on how you play it, it may pay off. So, at this point it does not look very good for Mighty Master, but since Borg is usually excel in the early game aggression, if he can hang on, he will maybe turn it around still, but since he has no... Oh yeah, indeed he decommissioned his mining station at his expansion and his base mining is... Well, dead. Uh, Mighty Master is forced His to economy either. is very hurt. Yeah. Almost no resources. Trying to get the couple kills on the damage chips there, which is probably a good idea. I think, yeah, the prob's gonna die. The skew probably won't make it either. Yeah, he'll probably get the skew. Mm, probably. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. Although the damage to the economy might be worth those two ships. Potentially, his mighty master is very low. Definitely. As far as I can tell, he's only got those two miners to support him. Yes, he would practically have to rebuild his whole economy with just those two miners. Only having those couple ships to defend themselves. And OTP usually likes to follow that up with a sphere right away. Looks like he has an uplink yes. done in his base. Unless I'm mistaken, has Mighty Master lost both his constructors? Mm, he I didn't must see have. the second one die. I don't see the second one. Yeah. Now, or if you notice, Mighty Master's made a huge mistake and left his fleet uncloaked. Now, all time has noticed that, so he's moving back. I think he's done that intentionally because he Actually, has no, no research the special. I will take back what I said. He used last ditch assault, so some of his suits couldn't cloak. Now, it probably would have been wiser to wait for the cloak to come back up because now all time he's coming back and he's able to defend his expansion. Mm, true. In this case, it's probably true, but he I think he yeah. intentionally left them uncloaked so they could recharge their special energy. Because if there is going yeah, to be an engagement, cloak, he will not he win with the special because of last ditch assault being on cooldown. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I could be totally wrong, but I think if I remember correctly, last ditch assault disables your cloaking device for a certain period of time. It does. It increases your offensive value for 35 seconds and then decreases it for 20 seconds, so it's a total of 55 seconds, almost a full minute. And Mighty Master decommissioned his Kayla station. His field research. Oh, Starbase itself! Yes. Hmm, might he better just be giving up at this point then? Or is he doing it just for resources? He might have done it as an accident, hitting delete. I've done quite embarrassingly every now and then. <laughs> yes, you have. Well, Possible. these things do give back a lot of money. They do, but uh, it's not really sustainable for him. The most he can do is maybe build a few more Sousa with the money he gets, pardon me. No, but no that's it. Do. All time can keep on expanding and building. Mighty Master is pretty much finished at this point. It's only how long he can keep on fighting for until he dies. Indeed, OTP has just started construction on a sphere. If 
Mighty Master is going to try and attack. That should probably be now, but OTP is going to defend the sphere with his life. Yeah, that small group of Klingon ships, if they were to attack the sphere, it'd be suicide. Looks like he's going for it anyway. No other choice at this point. He could kill it, potentially, but he will lose pretty much everything. At this stage, while it's still building, it's counted as a building, not as a ship, so he would do extra damage against that. This true. Yeah, he's going he's to try to kill it. Too, yes, that will destroy him. He's not going to have the ship numbers anymore after this. Yeah. He'll get the sphere, though. Yep, it's down. Not that it will matter. There's a small beam going on, too. Oh, and a scout, I see. It was detected by the EM. <laughs> it's no attacking. Two suicides remaining, I think we can call it at this point. Yeah, that's pretty much the game, I think. the cloak, but yeah. he's not going to be able to because the of the EM's cube. The EM's cube, yeah. He does have two Seuss's back at his... where his main base used to be. But they're not really going to make much of an impact. <laughs> no. In the now last ditch effort he popped his Katingas. He has another one at his expansion. <laughs> yeah. I think shortly old time will discover that the base is no more and it's only a matter of time then. Yeah, there's just no possible way to win with that few ships. Those two scouts at OTPS have given him a lot of visibility on him too. So you probably have known all that. That he has deconstructed his base. Actually like building a second scout right up the early game. Especially in a 1v1 since you can just see so much better what your enemy is up to. But most players consider that a waste of resources. Yep, first observers are quitting. Those scouts like are actually doing quite a number fight. on the Katinga. OTP still saving his ships, even though at this point it really wouldn't matter if he lost a cube. No. And there's and the there we game. have it. Yep. GG indeed. Well played by both players. The Sosas didn't seem to pay off though. Not at all. <laughs>